What is up guys? Lincoln here. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Dread Captures. It's an awfully dreary day here today, but hopefully you all enjoy the video. As always, please like, subscribe, share with a friend, and I will see you in the comments. While driving through a rhino park, tourists and their guide had to quickly backtrack after bumping into this monstrosity. The guy kept cool, knowing that any wrong move could be really bad for everyone in the Jeep. The clip cuts off so we don't see what happens next, but how are we feeling if we were in their shoes? A little freaked out, or a lot? Really nice footage here that potentially shows real Sasquatch behavior. It looks like we have a fox or maybe even a small coyote alongside some deer. Intriguingly, one deer bolts toward what appears to be either a person in costume or an actual Sasquatch. It's certainly not a bear like some have suggested. Despite the low quality blurry footage, the presence and reaction of these wild animals is pretty remarkable. These aren't just domestic pets that are starstruck. The scene reveals a deer heading towards a figure resembling a Sasquatch which aligns with the idea that Sasquatches can easily hunt and capture prey using various techniques. If this is a Sasquatch, it's in a relaxed state. The footage seems authentic. If you look at the figure's natural movements and colors, and considering the size comparisons with the deer and the fox, I guess of course it could be a person in a suit, but coordinating all these animals to be there would be quite impressive. This footage was submitted to NVTV by one of their viewers. Captured in August of 2011 in San Juan Mountains of Colorado, here is what they had to say about the experience. During my vacation in the San Juan Mountains of Colorado, I encountered something inexplicable. The only footage I managed to capture with my camera initially made me think I was seeing a bear. Upon closer inspection, it seemed more like a very large man clad in all black. It was perplexing. I've attached the video so you could see for yourself the mysterious figure captured on film. Okay, so check this out. The uploader says that this shows tried and true evidence of a Sasquatch fishing this river. We can see the creature far off in the back as he appears to come down from the mountains. We can observe that he is definitely covered in a dark brown or black fur. He's bipedal and seems pretty nimble for carrying such a big frame. He kneels down near the water's edge, perhaps just getting a drink or fishing like the OP says. Oddly enough, the video cuts off there. Like, why stop filming? If you think you have a Bigfoot on camera, you catch every moment until he walks out of view, in my opinion. The only other gripe I have is that how far away the video is taken. Beggars can't be choosers, and when something like this pops up, you just whip your camera out and get to filming. I get it. But the creature being this far away and blurry just brings in more questions. Overall, I think it's a pretty good capture. Hopefully we get an update or a professional does some analysis. For now, let me know your thoughts. Upon receiving a motion alert from their home security system one morning, a homeowner checked their phone to review the footage from the previous evening. To their bewilderment, the captured still image revealed a mysterious entity staring directly into their camera. Now, this odd occurrence sparked a flurry of speculation online, ranging from extraterrestrial visitors and mythical creatures to government operations that only take place in the dark. Yet, among these sensational suggestions, a more terrestrial explanation was also proposed. Someone said, you must have a hairless sphinx cat as a neighbor roaming the local streets. I don't know. I don't think that's a cat. What are your thoughts on this unusual image? Share your ideas and theories below. Another awesome video here from Sonny Vader. In September of 2023 during a hunting trip, one of two hunters made an unsettling discovery while returning to their camp after the day's activities. They stumbled upon a makeshift shelter 
and found what they thought were animal bones. But on closer inspection, a human skull was found concealed near the edge. This makeshift shelter was not far from the hunter's campsite. The following day, the two hunters revisited the shelter to conduct a more thorough investigation and decided to install a trail camera to monitor the area. When they went back with their camera, the hunters entered the makeshift dwelling. Eventually, we see the bones that are all there in a pile, and that definitely looks like a human skull. Many viewers believe the Bigfoot left this out as a warning. What do you guys think? A TikTok user named Nadine has been experiencing some very, very weird and creepy things happening in her home. She lives alone with her daughter in a small town in Alabama. Many viewers believe they can hear a voice whispering. Do you guys hear anything? User No Recognition 1998 claims this footage was captured by a trail camera situated 20 miles deep into the Idaho wilderness. An area so remote it's implausible for someone to be there at such an hour. The camera records a figure passing by at 4.37 a.m. A figure that doesn't quite fit the mold of a human being. This entity appears to have ghostly pale skin, slender, delicate arms, and an elongated neck. Observing viewers suggest that this peculiar silhouette may be a skinwalker or some type of humanoid. But what do you think? Could this just be a disoriented person meandering through the secluded forest? Or could it be something more mysterious? The conclusion is yours to draw. This clip taken from Bigfoot analyst Scott Carpenter shows a trail camera mounted nine feet above the ground in a Bigfoot hotspot. Multiple hair samples, multiple footprints have been taken from the exact area this trail cam covers. In 2010, there is roughly 60 seconds of trail cam footage that allegedly shows a Bigfoot licking the camera. What do you guys think? Can you make it out? Here it is again in slow-mo. It's pretty hard to make out, but very intriguing nonetheless. Scott, the uploader of the video, is a renowned Bigfoot researcher and does an entire analysis of the full video, which I'll link in the description. But as for now, give me your best analysis. In a rather odd video, I must say, a TikTok clip featuring a small-scale kitchen has captured the curiosity of its viewers. After many of them noticed a strange movement was spotted in the footage. Shared by Rachel Mercado on her TikTok account, Rachel's View, the video highlights a delicately assembled kitchen from the 1990s era in miniature form. Yet, while impressive, it's not the intricate details that have drawn the most attention, but rather a tiny item in the forefront that seems to move on its own. This oddity was spotlighted and she shared it online to cast some light on the baffling event. It appears Rachel had not noticed the peculiar movement until it was mentioned by viewers in the comments after the video went live. She gets a decent amount of views on her videos, but the comment section went wild when this video was posted. Some people even theorizing that tiny ghosts had haunted the kitchen, or that it was just a glitch in this simulated reality that we live in. Anyhow, what's your take on this curious happening? The Seas mysteries have surfaced once again thanks to a compelling video making waves on social media. Shared by the Instagram account SquatchWatch1, the clip has sparked renewed intrigue and debate over the possible existence of sea serpents. The recording features a mysterious form meandering in the ocean at an unspecified beach with onlookers liking it to a legendary sea serpent heaving itself from the ocean's embrace. Such creatures have long slithered through the annals of nautical folklore, enchanting sailors and land dwellers alike with tales of their sightings. What say you here?
This security cam video caught a tiny dog going off on a huge moose that showed up in the old couple's driveway. The little dog was doing its best to be scary, but it just ended up ticking off the moose even more. The owner tries to step in, which probably wasn't the best idea, but luckily, all the ruckus got to be too much for the moose and it took off. Props to the little dog for standing his ground, though. This clip flips the script with the hiker ending up on a bobcat's radar. He manages to record the cat tracking him down, leading to a real nerve-wracking standoff. But then the video just ends, and we're left hanging. Now I know it's not a mountain lion, or a wolf, or a pack of wolves, but I think I'd still be pretty freaked out about this bobcat tracking me. What do you guys think? If I had to rank them, I'd rank it mountain lion, wolf, bobcat. Some fishermen out in their canoes got more than they bargained for when they bumped into this right in the middle of the sea. Just when they thought it couldn't get any scarier, the sharks decided to go on the offensive. And needless to say, turned this into a heart-stopping moment. Luckily, everyone made it out okay despite the sharks getting a little too close for comfort. Could anyone recognize the shark? That had to be a bull shark or a tiger shark. I'm leaning towards a bull shark since they're the most aggressive. This next clip is from Strange News with Max Huntley. I recently received an email from a viewer who he wanted to share his experience with me, hoping it might help others feel less alone. He knows firsthand how impactful it can be to hear similar stories, especially when you feel like you can't talk to anyone about it. Here's what happened. My mother turned 70, so I decided to surprise her with a visit to her home in Ohio. She had always dreamed of living in a remote area, surrounded by deep woods, and her dream had come true. She lived in the middle of nowhere, no neighbors, nothing nearby, she loved it. During my stay, I would occasionally sneak out at night to smoke a cigarette, as my mother didn't know I smoked. One night, while in the woods, I smelled a rancid odor, like a mix of rotting garbage, burnt hair, and wet dog. It was so bad that it burned my nostrils and my eyes teared up. My mother was getting older, so I thought maybe she was disposing of some scraps in the woods. So I used my phone's flashlight to go in and investigate. That would prove to be a mistake. As I searched, the smell worsened. Suddenly I heard a large thud next to me and saw a large rock rolling on the ground. Confused, I looked around and another rock whizzed right past my head. Despite being scared, I charged in the direction the rock came from, yelling profanities to sound tough. Before I could escape the smell, I found myself face to face with a terrifying creature that looked like it was from Planet of the Apes. It had beady eyes, a furry head, a hairy body, and a face like a caveman. It growled deeply and I sprinted back to the house, hearing its grunts as it chased me. I barely made it inside and locked the door, but the creature banged against it. My mother came rushing in and helped me barricade the door. She didn't know from what but I told her as we retreated to the other side of the house. Eventually the noise stopped and I felt a rush of relief. My mother was going on and on about bears, but then we heard another slam from the other side of the house. Grabbing a kitchen knife, I went and checked the sound, praying I wouldn't have to use it. The creature was pounding on the house. Pictures and decorations were rattling. I asked my mom to grab dad's shotgun, which he had used for hunting often before he died. My mom was frozen in fear though, so I had to find the shotgun under her bed. The creature suddenly stopped and I cautiously went outside with the gun. I saw the creature sprinting towards me and fired a shot, causing it to stop abruptly. After firing another shot, the creature ran off in the forest. I ran back inside and locked the door where my mother was still in fear. I reassured her saying it was important to be careful. There really were bears out there. I didn't have the heart to tell her what I had seen. I then went to the guest bedroom, fell to the floor, and contemplated how close we had come to death. I've always wondered if it was a Bigfoot, as I couldn't think of any other explanation. Thank you for letting me share this story, and thank you for sharing it with your viewers.
Now this clip is definitely gonna grab your attention. Might even raise some eyebrows. It shows what looks like a young Sasquatch that someone claims to have found in the forest. The creature's body is all hair and it's just lying there on the forest floor with its eyes shut. You can even spot what looks like a mark on its face. The camera moves along its body, showing a bulging stomach and short limbs. I'll say this was a little startling and if this is what he says it is, this is amazing. But it really makes you wonder, is this the real deal or is this just a very well carried out hoax? It'd be an incredible find since evidence of Sasquatch is notoriously elusive. I'm torn on this one. Let me know what you guys think. In the peaceful stretches of Washington state, close to the Canadian border, there was this hiker heading out for what he thought would be just another ice fishing trip at a local lake. As he made his way through the calm wilderness, something caught his eye tracks in the snow. It wasn't the usual scene he was used to. Taking a closer look at these imprints, he realized they were not your average animal tracks. They had the kind of look you hear about in Bigfoot stories, adding a slice of intrigue to what was shaping up to be a pretty standard winter day. Now this does make me wonder. There's a ton of Bigfoot buzz that comes out of Washington State. Maybe these tracks are a clue, or maybe someone playing a very specialized hoax. It's pretty crazy to see his foot next to that imprint. What do you guys think about this? Legit or another hoax? Uploaded to YouTube by Carrie E in February of 2021, this video shows something unusual that her home security system caught in the living room. Check out the footage. The camera, which is activated by movement, recorded a weird black shadow passing through the space. After the shape exits the camera's view, the system switches from night vision to color, a function of the camera when it's trying to get a better look. The homeowner is stumped about what it could be and is wondering if it might be a shadow person. Shadow people are a hot topic in paranormal circles and are becoming more prevalent as of late. They're often described as dark human-shaped figures that appear briefly, usually just seen from the corner of your eye. There are various theories about them. Some think they're either ghosts or spirits. Some say aliens and others suggest they're from other dimensions. Now, there's no concrete explanation, but that hasn't stopped the speculation. Many, many people have reported seeing shadow people, often more than once. Most stories agree that these figures are dark without any clear facial features. Some believe they might just be ordinary shadows or even tricks of the mind from lack of sleep. Yet with no solid scientific backing for these sightings, the similarity in stories keeps the mystery alive. So is this clip an actual proof of shadow people or is there another explanation for this odd occurrence? What do you think? The Solway Spaceman is an oldie but goodie when it comes to internet mysteries. Back in 1964, a fellow named Jim Templeton was out taking pictures of his daughter on a family picnic at Berg Marsh, right by the Solway Firth. When he got the pictures developed, there was a media storm. Why? Because right above his daughter's head, there seemed to be a spaceman in full gear. Templeton swore it was just his wife with them that day, no one else. Experts at Kodak, the maker of the film, even checked out the photo and said it was legit, offering up a reward for anyone who could show that it was a fake. Things got weirder from there. Templeton said he got a visit from two mysterious guys in black, number nine and number 11, who wanted to see exactly where he took this photo. Fast forward a few weeks, on the other side of the world in Australia, a missile test got scrapped because the crew said they spotted two beings. They both look just like the spaceman from Templeton's photo at the launch site. What's really wild is the connection back to Solway. The scrapped missiles were made not far from their picnic spot. And there were reports of UFO sightings near the Australian launch site at the time. Now, that'll make you wonder if there's something else more to that photograph. Now, here's something you wouldn't want to stumble upon when checking your trail cam. This guy's cameras have caught all sorts of odd stuff, but this latest find is pretty out there. This creepy figure showed up on camera and has one of the creepiest looks I've ever seen. 
To me, it looks like a man with a pig head. You can see the ear sticking up, the two eyes, and it looks like he has a snout. The photo isn't super clear, which makes it tricky to spot any real facial features, but you can kind of see what might be a nose and a couple of spots that could pass for eyes. This isn't a natural creature of the forest, I can tell you that. The question is, is this some kind of mutant animal we don't know about? Or is this potentially some type of spirit that's come to life? Nevertheless, it is pretty bizarre. In the mid-1990s, four children got their mother settled into a nursing home near where they grew up. Her family snapped a picture of her and her new surroundings. But once they got the photo developed, there was a surprise waiting. A man's figure can be seen in the background. Taking a closer look, the elder lady identified the man as her husband, who had passed away some 13 years prior. The family was sure that there was no one else around when they took the pictures, and the kids can corroborate that this does look like their dad. It's pretty wild to think about, isn't it? I mean, it makes you wonder if it could really be a visit from her late husband. Either way, it's a curious reminder that sometimes photos capture more than we can see with our eyes. Okay, now this might look super fake, but it's actually not. What you're seeing going across these train tracks is something called ball lightning. It's a super rare natural event that still has scientists scratching their heads. There's no solid explanation for why it happens, and theories are all over the place. All we really know is that it's a real thing, and when you see it, you're pretty lucky, and it's probably a bit startling too. Let me know if you guys have ever seen anything like this. I would love to see this. Recorded by a biker, this video comes from India and shows what some are calling a real ghost encounter. The scene is set on a mountain road with an impressive view. As the biker continues down the road, the camera spots a figure by the roadside. It's an eerie sight. A ghost-like figure of a girl in a white dress her long hair covering her entire face. She just stands there, motionless, as if she's waiting for someone to stop, maybe to do something. Local stories say that ghosts like this one are the spirits of people who had accidents on this road and now haunt it by appearing in such a way. And to me, I mean, and honestly, seeing this happen in the middle of the day makes it all the more spine chilling. This video is wild. It shows a plane coming in just feet above the ground. Now some pilots are amazing and they can pull off these super low flybys. But this one, this feels a little too close for comfort I would imagine. A person in the comments said, the pilots probably PO'd because this guy's filming in portrait mode. An interesting tidbit, on aircraft carriers, these flybys, known as buzzing the tower, are often used as a bit of showmanship or to signal a successful mission. But not everyone can do this. These pilots have to be incredibly precise. There's hardly any room for air when you're flying that close to the deck. Man, it's a real testament to their skill and their nerve. At first look, you might mistake this image for a close-up of an earthworm, but give it a moment. In dense forests where it's hard to see much of anything, this spot has seen a spike in snake bites recently. What you're actually looking at is a python, a real pro at blending into its surroundings, and potentially dangerous to anyone just walking by. And they've started to venture out from their normal hiding places, which is potentially dangerous to anyone now just walking by. However, local wildlife experts have come up with a solution. Drones with cutting edge thermal cameras. These drones can fly up in the sky, look down, and spot any pythons that may have come out at night when it's a little more quiet and they might be more active. The thermal cameras are so sharp, they don't only reveal the big pythons, but also tinier local snakes. They've caught some as small as 18 inches long. This will make it a whole lot easier for these wildlife officers to reduce the number of these snakes. In turn, hopefully keeping the public safe. This next video really adds to the previous one. 
showing why it's critical to keep an eye on snake populations. Check this out. Imagine your drone, or you, flying right into this rattlesnake pit. I mean, this clip might be one of the most unnerving ones I've seen. It captures what looks like countless rattlesnakes. I mean, these guys are chock full of venom. The drone was soaring over a dry, brush-filled area when it stumbled upon this viper gathering. The snakes initially didn't seem to care much about the drone, but when it got too close, one snake went in, which in turn led others to join. Suddenly, the drone was swarmed. This is an intense visual, am I right? Now to me, this is a reminder of the wildness that thrives out of sight. There is stuff happening at all times of the day that we don't even know about. And this kind of makes me want to get a drone if I'm being honest. Let me know if you guys have a drone and if you've captured anything crazy like this on it. Here's yet another head scratcher of a video, which seems to show a cryptid. You can see the creature moving away from the camera, but its features are still somewhat visible. Like many creatures we're used to in the wild, this creature's got dark fur. The problem is, it's walking on two legs. Now, it does have a bear-like look to it, but we all know bears don't usually stand and walk like this for a long time. Now, I'm sure many of you are looking and nodding along saying, that's definitely a Bigfoot. And I'd tend to agree. Most people have caught what they think might be a Bigfoot on their cameras from a distance. And usually in these sightings, the creature is either hanging out in the background or just doesn't even know it's being watched. And oddly enough, the closer you get, the more blurry it seems to get. People who've gotten up close to something like Bigfoot almost never manage to get a clear shot. Many say having a huge imposing figure right in front of you is likely to make you shake, freeze up, or even take off running. What do you guys think you'd do in this situation? Now, here is a heartwarming tale. A complete stranger took a long drive after reading about a couple whose dog had gone missing. Grabbing his drone, he set out on a mission to find their lost pup. The dog had been missing for over 10 days. I mean, its owners had almost lost hope of seeing their friend again. Once he got to town and got a lay of the land, he went out hunting. His first order of business was to get his drone in the air and fly it above the tops of these dense forests. And let me tell you, about 15 minutes in, he spotted a small white dot on his screen. He had a hunch that this could be their dog. Unfortunately, the white dot wasn't moving. He quickly followed the signal into the thick brush, and as soon as he got near, the dog ran right up to him. Once he got the dog back to civilization and the dog got the proper checkout, he was reunited with his owners. What an amazing story. The drone pilot really turned out to be a real life hero in this case. This is a short clip, but take a look at the super rare event where fireworks get hit by lightning. The people that shot off these fireworks said the video doesn't do it justice, that it felt like these fireworks were still super close to the people when the lightning struck them. And while it looked like an amazing mid-air explosion to us, it scared a lot of people in the crowd. There was a debate in the comments. Many people were wondering if the lightning was somehow attracted to the firework coming into the atmosphere. It seems the answer is no, but if you have any experience, let us all know. The Great Prespa Lake, sitting high up in the Balkans at about 800 meters, has its own tale to tell. Like many other lakes around the world, this lake has its own monster legends. A few years back, some locals managed to film something odd in the water. Have a look at the clip. Taken in the early 2000s sometime, there's still no clear-cut explanation for what's in it. Given the old-school quality of the video, it's tough to make a call. Some folks reckon it could be a giant catfish, while others dismiss it as a hoax. Then you have those who are convinced the local legends are actually onto something. And this mysterious sighting brought a few cryptid hunters to the area. This is definitely one of those things that keep the mystery buffs guessing. Well, I'll tell you this. There's one thing they can mark off the list. That ain't no catfish. Back in early 2018, a front door camera in Texas caught something you don't see every day. 
The camera, set off by some movement, sent a notification to the homeowner, Allison Keller. Curious to see who or what was at her door, Allison checked her phone and got quite the shock. There was a huge snake making its way up her door. Now, it's thought to be a Texas rat snake, a type that's pretty common around there and relatively harmless. The video shows the snake wrapping itself around the door lock and even slipping and falling at one point. But that didn't stop it. The snake just kept on climbing. This unusual sight didn't go unnoticed and was soon featured on various news websites, turning this slithery little intruder into a bit of an internet sensation. Now, while they are pretty harmless, be honest, how many of you are burning your house to the ground? Now, this video is just too funny. A ring camera just catches this guy going to his friend's house. He rings the doorbell and almost immediately splat. Now, this poor guy gets the uh, Mr. Calm Award of the Year, if you ask me. He must have the patience of a saint. I'm kind of embarrassed of how I might have reacted on camera if this happened to me. Driving down a deserted road, a man jams on his brakes when something odd catches his eye. Nope, I don't believe this is Bigfoot. It looks more like a wolf. At least that's what it looked like. But as we watch it again, this thing is strolling around on its hind legs. The man whips his car around and snaps a photo of what appears to be a bipedal dog or a wolf. It's hard to tell what we're looking at. Its arms are oddly thin, and it has this strange gait that makes you think twice. And the ears? They were difficult to make out, but they look similar to a dog's. It looks more like a monster, to be honest. My eyes keep being drawn to the arms. What are up with these things? It looks like they're missing skin and muscle. The arm bones are clearly visible. It's pretty gross, actually. But the rest of the body is definitely covered in a classic wolf's fur, all thick and shaggy. So what do we have going on here? Is this a wolf or some unknown cryptid that's shown itself? I've seen this video a time or two and have never heard a definitive answer as to what it is. What do you guys think? What do you make of this thing on the side of the road? A user on TikTok who absolutely loves her three dogs decided to share a bit of her life. She was just recording her dogs during their usual evening relaxation. About 30 seconds into the video, she had no idea she was about to capture one of the most unsettling videos TikTok has ever seen. Two of her three dogs were calm and relaxed, but the other one seemed uneasy, looking at something strange down a dark hallway next to their living room. After about a minute, the woman recording the video started to feel uneasy herself, and when she glanced over, she noticed something unusual in the dimly lit corridor. If you look closely, you can see a shadowy figure lurking in the darkness, partially visible through that open doorway. You can barely distinguish a figure that appears tall and human-like, half exposed. It quickly retreats into the room it was peering from, probably a bathroom, and is once again hidden in the increasingly scary darkness. The woman filming and all of her dogs are clearly frightened at this point. And once the shadowy figure moves, she yells in shock and you can practically hear her heart pounding. But the worst part of this video is that it ends abruptly, leaving us all in suspense. I have no idea why she would stop the recording. Well, I kind of have an idea, but I'm still a little bummed. Anyhow, what do you guys think of this clip? This is the second or third one of these we've seen. Are these real or are they just hoaxes? TikTok user Casey Dostert has been drawing quite a crowd with his chilling series of videos alluding to and indicating that his ranch might be either haunted or frequented by some puzzling cryptid. Over several months, Dostert has been dishing up a regular service of strange and unexplainable incidents from his land. These freak occurrences have caused viewers to speculate about the possible involvement of a cryptid, or at the very least, some other unearthly presence. A few seconds in, the first clip rolls out with the landowner Casey filming late into the night, and we can hear noises echoing from afar, almost like some creature in pain. 
Casey even says they're unusually close to the house tonight as growls of an unseen creature fill the air. These sinister sounds are like nothing they've ever heard before, and it prompts questions about their origin and nature. As he looks out from his front porch, a scared Casey says he has to reach his truck for work, but is hesitant to leave the safety of his porch given the situation. He's clearly freaked out. In this next clip, Doster spots some movement at the far end of his property. All right, whatever you are, you need to leave. Almost immediately, two glowing orbs appear in the distance, suggesting eyes of a bipedal figure hiding out in the woods. Taking no chances, he lets off a warning shot to discourage the shadowy figure. I don't think it's going to come around for a little bit. I don't think it'll be back for a while, he says. These intriguing videos are really drumming up some questions. Is this truly a cryptid, or is there a more mundane explanation behind these spooky sightings? Some practical viewers propose the mysterious figure might just be a misidentified animal, or perhaps even a practical joke. On the other hand, many others are firm believers that the ranch is, in fact, the chosen haunt of a cryptid. Just out of sight, like usual. As we draw to a close, I want to ask you guys, what are your thoughts on this peculiar footage? I look forward to reading them in the comments. TikTok user WV Paranormal shared a series of bone-chilling clips in August of 2021, recorded during a seemingly normal family day out in the backyard. What was an ordinary day turned eerie when the family was out and about playing and tending to their garden. As the clip rolls, we hear the mom call her kids in for a bath. Suddenly, she feels a strange sensation, as if she's being watched, and swiftly turns her camera toward a cluster of trees. Now brace yourself for what she captures. It might take a moment for you to spot it, but look carefully. There seems to be a figure lurking amongst the trees, seemingly watching the children playing. The following day, the mother has a chilling encounter with the figure yet again. Oh my God, nobody is gonna ever believe this. All right, we're going, we're going back inside. Amidst the sound of her baby crying, she decides it's time to head back indoors. The same towering, bizarre figure is now visibly standing right behind a shed, its face appearing oddly featureless and gray. It peeks its head out. The family is left baffled, but mostly disturbed. What is going on? Is this an intruder spying on her children? Or is this really some mysterious cryptid or creature or misidentified animal? Tell me what you guys would do in this situation, especially if you spotted someone creeping around your family from afar. Let me know. I know what mine would be. In the small town of Brooksville, nestled within the verdant heart of Florida, lived a man by the name of Earl Anderson. Earl was an experienced hunter, known for his patience and keen eye. He had a reputation as a storyteller, sharing tales of his adventures through the sprawling Floridian wilderness. But on an oppressively humid day in July, Earl stumbled upon something that changed his stories forever, and perhaps the tales of this town itself. Late in the evening, after the sultry heat had begun to cool, Earl set out to check his trail cameras nestled deep in the Withlacoochee Forest. As he hiked through the damp undergrowth, the chorus of cicadas was deafening. He felt a strange uneasiness creeping up his spine, a feeling he had never experienced in these familiar woods. Upon reaching his trail camera, he immediately noticed something amiss. The camera, usually facing the trail, was askew, pointing haphazardly into the brush. Curiosity peaked, Earl adjusted the camera and retrieved the memory card, anxious to see what had happened. Back at his modest cabin, Earl sat down at his aging desktop computer. He slipped the memory card into the slot, anticipation bubbling within as the images began to load. As he flipped through the pictures, he found the usual suspects, raccoons, deer, an occasional bobcat, which was cool, but then, 
The images took a turn for the unusual. An enormous figure, bipedal, covered in thick hair, appeared on the screen. It was muscular and broad-shouldered, with long arms and an almost human-like stature. Earl leaned in closer, eyes wide with disbelief. This was no ordinary creature. This was something else. Something he'd only ever heard about in hushed, half-joking conversations at the local bar. Could it be the skunk ape? Florida's very own version of Bigfoot? The final image was the clearest. The creature stared directly into the camera, its eyes reflecting an intelligent gleam. It almost seemed as if it was aware of the camera, hence its skewing. The realization struck Earl like a lightning bolt. He was the first to capture undeniable photographic evidence of the skunk ape. Earl couldn't keep this discovery to himself. He rushed into town, sharing his findings with anyone who would listen. He was met with skepticism. People dismissing Earl as a tall tale teller finally succumbing to his own stories. But the local newspaper picked up the story, and soon word spread. Experts from around the state poured into Brooksville, all wanting a glimpse at Earl's photos. Some were skeptical, suggesting the image could be an unusually large bear or a clever hoax. However, others couldn't dismiss the clear humanoid features and the uncanny intelligence in the creature's eyes. Finally, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission got involved. After weeks of analysis, they couldn't deny the figure's resemblance to the descriptions of the mythical skunk ape. Though they couldn't conclusively identify the creature, they acknowledged the photos were indeed authentic and hadn't been tampered with. While not a definitive proof, Earl's photos sparked new interest and belief in the skunk ape. Though the doubters remained, Earl was content. He knew what he saw, knew what he had. His tale had a new chapter, one of discovery and wonder, and it was breathing new life into the legend of the Floridian skunk ape. Switching gears a little bit, this upcoming one is so creepy that I actually wish it was CGI. I wish this was fake. This clip was shared on the Facebook group Weird, Fantastic, and Odd Things by a user named Max Jack. A resident in Thailand came across this odd-looking snake and took it under their care. And this thing appears to be covered in a green fur. I mean, what is this? Some people have put forward the idea that it could be a form of algae growing on the reptile's skin, but I don't know. The man said he kept it alive by feeding it fish. He also said he plans to turn this peculiar snake over to authorities for study and identification. So for now, we can only watch this clip of this mysterious creature. I first featured this exact clip in one of my earliest videos, and the quality left much to be desired. Recently, I rediscovered it with significantly improved clarity, and I had to show it to you guys. So let's take a trip down to Mississippi to revisit this intriguing footage from 2015. The video captures a cryptic, ape-like entity attentively digging in this tree trunk. We're not sure what it's doing, but whatever's in there has this guy's attention. Oblivious to the nearby human, the man stealthily films the creature, and I'd reckon he goes unnoticed because of its intense focus on his task. If you frequented my channel, you'll know my standard advice when coming face to face with such peculiar beings. Maintain a safe distance. Their capabilities are unpredictable. Unfortunately, this man teeters dangerously close to a potentially dire outcome. At first, the creature's size may not strike you as extraordinary. However, the true scale is revealed when the creature, initially sitting, rises to its full formidable height. It's at this moment that it spots the man recording the scene and immediately starts to give chase. While we lose sight of the creature, we can hear the footsteps ringing through the air. How the man escaped unscathed and with the video still remains a puzzle. What's your take? Are we looking at a genuine Bigfoot here? Or perhaps a gorilla or a skunk ape? Could this entire encounter be an intricately designed hoax? Let me know what you think. Well, 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 what do we have here? For you non-believers of the paranormal world, this video might just sway your opinion. 
Originally installed deep in the forest to observe animal behavior, a trail camera surprisingly recorded a man casually strolling through this remote area. Upon closer inspection, a well-used path can be observed, indicating frequent human activity despite the isolated nature of this location. The main peculiarity here, though, is the time when the footage was captured, late into the night. Of course, a time generally considered risky for such a secluded place. This area is filled with unpredictable wildlife and even some mighty, sketchy, dangerous individuals. Unfazed by these potential hazards, the young man in the clip confidently walks into frame. But only a few seconds later, we're shocked when he's suddenly attacked by an unidentified figure. I must clarify, this might not be a human, but a form that can't be clearly made out for sure. The attacker doesn't look human. It's blurry form standing in stark contrast to the clearly visible man. If it was a human, wouldn't it show up on camera just like this guy? Could it be that a ghost shoved him to the ground? While we're left struggling to determine the exact identity of this attacker, one fact remains unquestionable. The footage has not been manipulated. Are we witnessing a ghostly entity or some other supernatural being? Or maybe you have a more rational explanation for this incident. Please share your thoughts. I'm very interested. A great action clip here taken in Arizona. Rabbits, while often seen as more prone to fleeing than fighting due to their prey status, are known to show impressive bravery and determination when their young are in danger. This courage can take various forms, like growling, lunging, or even mounting attacks. Considering snakes as potential predators for young rabbits, it's reasonable that the mother rabbit would try to chase the snake away from her nest, taking the risk of being within its strike range. Even though this particular snake is non-venomous and the mother rabbit appears to be struck multiple times, there's no real threat of fatal harm. She will indeed sustain some injuries, but after successfully driving away the threat from her young, she can retreat to her nest to nurse her wounds. We've seen plenty of instances of this in the animal kingdom. Mothers protecting their young? Not something you want to get in between, regardless of the species. This next clip that I'm sure by now you have all heard of is insane. I need to know what everyone thinks of it seriously. A whistleblower and former intelligence and military official claims that a secret government program has uncovered non-human spacecraft. The whistleblower, David, has turned the evidence over to the Inspector General of the U.S. However, lawmakers say they are not aware of any secret UFO recovery program. Representative Dean Phillips suggests that if aliens or spacecraft are being held in a government warehouse, the matter deserves to be investigated by Congress. Now the exciting part. The clip then transitions to a 911 call from a Nevada family who claimed they saw creatures in their backyard after a flash of light in the sky. The incident happened on a Thursday night, and most people initially suspected it was a prank, but the subsequent footage from a police officer's body camera shows a flash of light in the sky, lending some credibility to the family's story, and a second officer is dispatched to the family's home, where he interviews them about what they saw. You can even hear the officer say something to the effect of, I'm not going to BS you guys. I'm interested in what's going on here. My partner saw something fall from the sky as well. According to the family, the creatures were large and they appeared shortly after something fell from the sky. The police then proceeded to the backyard, but the footage is blacked out as it is considered private property. That's a little sketchy. Despite the serious approach, the investigation did not turn up any concrete answers and whatever or whoever was in the yard was gone within minutes. It's worth noting that the American Meteor Society confirmed several people across Eastern California, Nevada, and even Utah reported seeing the same flash in the sky that the Nevada family reported. This is crazy. I want more information on this. I mean, the guy seems credible talking to the police. And even in the 911 call, there are bits and pieces of the video that are missing. And one part I don't like is when the cop leaves. I'll let you listen to that part now. Those nine foot beings come back, don't call us, all right? Deal with it yourself. That, I ain't dealing with that. <laughs> Almost makes it feel like it was a joke or something. I don't know. Maybe it is. It is odd timing right after the whistleblower came out, but please let me know your thoughts in the comments.
A security camera under the cloak of night captures a really freaky scene in an otherwise peaceful garden. There's this mysterious woman creeping about in the shadows. Now, the strange part is the place seems to be in the middle of nowhere because you can't see lights from any other houses in the vicinity. I mean, the whole scene, remote cabin nestled in a dense forest, just adds a whole layer of creepiness to the entire situation. And the obvious question, if the homeowners don't know, then who is this woman? Some speculators have thought she might be a ghost, perhaps weighed down by a tragic accident that happened on that property forever stuck in despair. Others profess she is doomed to aimlessly wander, forever haunting the garden and the house. It's certainly eerie enough to make anyone's mind jump to spectral conclusions. Her movements are also super, super creepy. She's too calm. Each step she takes is measured, intentional. I think it's definitely worth noting how comfortable she is there, potentially meaning she's been there before. And of course, maybe, just maybe, it's some lady pulling a prank, trying to give her neighbors a good scare, or the entire thing's a hoax. Who knows? Anyhow, I can assure you this is not something I want to catch on my camera. Let me know your thoughts on this. Underneath the blushing Virginia sun, Emmett Jenkins, a seasoned outdoorsman and renowned local naturalist, stared at his trail camera, his heart thumping in his chest. The camera, positioned strategically to oversee a small creek bed, had captured something truly extraordinary. Two photos that defied logical explanation. In the first photo, standing against the backdrop of lush wilderness, was a colossal hair-covered creature, carrying a small, seemingly infant version of itself. Oddly, its face bore no resemblance to the terrifying monstrosities projected by Hollywood as Sasquatches. Rather, it was closer to that of an ape, imbued with a profound and enigmatic intelligence. The second photo, taken only a month later, revealed another similar figure, likewise carrying a young one. It was their eyes, however, that stood out to Emmett. They reflected a wisdom and calmness that was profoundly unnerving. As Emmett studied these photos, a shiver ran up his spine. The images confirmed what he'd long believed but was hesitant to admit. Bigfoot was real. Yet these creatures weren't the monsters of lore, they were more akin to the great apes. Creatures of remarkable intelligence and compassion. And they looked like apes. A chilling silence hung heavy in the air as Emmett's mind raced. These photos could revolutionize our understanding of the world. Or yet they could be dismissed as yet another trick. A forest mirage. He decided he must investigate further. For he couldn't dismiss the sense of humanity he saw in the eyes of these creatures. Stepping out of his cabin, he trudged towards the creek bed, his heartbeat matching the rhythm of the rustling leaves beneath his feet. The woodland, once a sanctuary of tranquility, was now shrouded in an eerie sense of mystery. Every rustling leaf, every snapped twig, seemed to hide a secret, fueling Emmett's anticipation. Reaching the creek bed, he found footprints, massive compared to a human, their depth suggesting the immense weight of these creatures. He couldn't shake off the feeling of being watched, the heavy silence silence amplifying his sensation of an unseen presence. Suddenly a low grumble echoed through the trees. An unfamiliar sound filled with a primitive resonance that sent shivers down his spine. Instinctively, he moved away from the direction of the sound, eyes scanning the green abyss for any sign of life. As he walked further into the forest, a small figure emerged from the thick foliage. Emmett froze, his breath hitching. The creature was the same one from the photo, an infant with its large, innocent eyes gazing at him. He felt a mix of awe and fear, his heart pounding like a wild drum inside his chest. An earth-shattering roar sounded behind him. Whirling around, he was met with the sight of the larger creature, its protective gaze locked onto Emmett, a mother defending her offspring. His camera had captured not monsters, but a family. Creatures of the forest living their lives away from prying human eyes. Emmett backed away slowly, eyes never leaving the creature. Once at a safe distance, he turned and took off. Once back to his cabin, 
The photo seemed even more extraordinary. He really realized the implications of his discovery and the potential danger it posed to the Bigfoot family. The next day, he returned to the creek this time to remove his trail camera. As he left, he cast one last glance at the force that held his secret. He would keep the photos safe, revealing them to no one to ensure the safety of the creatures. After all, some mysteries, he mused, are meant to remain as they are, respected, revered, but never fully revealed. Ten years ago, in 2013, a fervent nature enthusiast by the name of Roger Williams made an astounding find. Roger was trekking through the mountainous region of southwest Virginia in broad daylight. He was able to snap a photo of a strange creature, presumed to be the legendary Sasquatch. This towering being, estimated to be over eight feet tall, was covered in a mass of tangled brown fur. While the photograph only revealed the creature's back, it unmistakably depicted a humanoid shape, characterized by stretched out arms, wide shoulders, and a head that also appeared to be covered in fur. Once again lending itself to the burning question, hanging in the air, is this definitive proof of Bigfoot? Or as many have speculated, a misidentified roving bear. What do you guys think of this video clip? I mean, I don't think that's a bear. I just don't know. This made the local nose and stirred up the small town quite a bit. I just don't know. I'll try to dig around a little bit and see if Roger ever did a follow up. In another unbelievable happening from around the world, a dramatic rescue mission titled Operation Esperanza, four children, all siblings, were found alive after surviving for 40 days alone in the Colombian jungle. The ordeal began on May 1st when a plane carrying seven people, including the children and their mother, sighted engine failure and disappeared from radar. The wreckage was later found with three adult bodies, but the children, aged between 13 and 11 months, were missing. A massive search and rescue operation was launched, which included Colombian military and indigenous community leaders. They searched tirelessly by day and night, on the ground and from the air, through the dense, dangerous rainforest that's full of underbrush, bugs, and predators. Their efforts were even more determined when small signs of life were discovered, including a diaper, a body, bottle and footprints. Tragically, Wilson, a search dog who was part of the rescue crew, went missing during the operation and remains lost. The rescue team utilized a recording of the children's grandmother broadcasted from a helicopter to comfort and instruct the children. On June 9th, after 40 grueling days, the siblings were found. Scared, quiet, and shivering, they were airlifted from the jungle. A moment of joy met with relief, hugs, and tears of disbelief from their family back home. The children's grandmother, mourning the loss of her daughter, expressed her longing to hug her four grandchildren. Upon their arrival on the tarmac, they were greeted by their father and the brave team who led the rescue operation. The operation's leaders lauded the children as the bravest ones, emblematic of the enduring power of survival and hope. Just an insane testament to the incredible resilience of these children and the dedication of the searchers and rescuers that would ultimately bring them to safety. What an incredible story. When I first heard this, I thought the father was with the children. And not that it would have been easy by any means, but I was blown away to hear that it was just the four children. The eldest was 13 years old. Man, it really is a testament to the ability of the mind and body to take over and keep you alive. And these kids really dig deep. I can't imagine the 13 year old trying to take care of those young children. Anyhow, this is just an amazing story. And I'm sure most of you guys have seen it, but I just wanted to share it. A nice feel good story. While piloting their drone through a winter forest, a man claims to have accidentally captured exceptional footage of the elusive Bigfoot. As you can see in the drone video, Bigfoot is unsettlingly presented in a relaxed stride. He looks pretty comfortable in his element. Funny enough, this actually sparks speculation regarding its true demeanor. 
It had people wondering if Bigfoot was just a misunderstood creature. Nevertheless, despite his seemingly easygoing presence in the footage, caution should still be exercised for sure. I love that we have technology that's able to document and possibly decipher such creatures. I know many are apprehensive about their existence, but even you guys have to admit this is amazing footage. The one thing that this video does make me wonder is how the Bigfoot doesn't notice the drone is overhead. I wonder if the blades of this drone are just super quiet, or maybe the drone was far away and the footage is zoomed in on. Nevertheless, this shows all the genuine characteristics of a Bigfoot, even though they still continue to be shrouded in mystery. Let me know what you guys think of this. A few years back, a team of laborers found themselves faced with a perplexing assignment. A stubborn obstruction in a drainage pipe nestled at the factory's rear had been wreaking havoc, causing countless complications. It was this troublesome situation that prompted them to head to the site, smartphone cameras in hand, ready to document the source of their woes. With each step they took towards the dreaded pipe, the tension built up like a suspenseful symphony reaching its climax. Their intention was simple, record the problematic blockage to understand the issue better. However, the reality that unfolded before them was far from what they'd anticipated. As they honed their focus onto the pipe, something startling happened. An ethereal, white figure, as ghostly as moonlight, unexpectedly emerged from within the pipe. It was a sight that sent a jolt of shock through each worker. They were all frozen in their tracks. The image of this strange creature, peeking out, hiding, returning, peering out from the depths, left them freaked out. They didn't know what to make of it. They were glad they caught it on camera. And that stubborn obstruction that they were there to film? It quickly felt like less of a problem. Anyhow, what do you guys say? What do you think of this? A hunter from Idaho captured this incredible footage while hunting mule deer. He actually took the footage with his cell phone through his spotting scope while he was spotting deer from the top of a mountain. Okay, so the deer closest to us is the one we're honed in on, and just under the deer, 20-30 feet, on the screen is the bobcat that is stealthily creeping up behind this deer. I'll let you watch from here. Okay, so a few things. It's crazy how close the cat gets. I can't believe how quietly he snuck up behind the deer. I mean, everyone watching this knows how skittish deer can be. He gets inches away and you can tell that the deer never saw him coming. Another thing to mention is how did none of the herd have any idea that that cat was in the area? I mean, obviously they didn't smell him. Maybe he was just bedded down in there perfectly. I don't know. Quite the brawl ensued as the deer is fighting for its life. Look at the ground they had covered as they wrestle and tumble through the woods. It's unbelievable. Here's another look at the video with better clarity. It's zoomed in a bit. After you watch it, let me know in the comments what you think. I mean, this is some of the coolest footage I've ever seen. This next clip offers an exceptional and informative peek into the nocturnal behaviors of crocodiles in their natural surroundings. As you can see, after hunting, they're consuming their prey in the water. The footage highlights the astounding strength and savagery of these prehistoric reptiles. 
Recognized as one of the planet's most formidable creatures, this video is a strong affirmation of the crocodile's predatory prowess. I mean, this clip delivers a remarkable viewing experience, but also underlines the significance of treating wildlife with respect in their natural habitats. Over the years, footage of crocodiles in their natural environments has intrigued and bewitched viewers globally. This video adds a distinctive viewpoint, illuminating the habits and routines of crocodiles amidst the night's gloom in the forest. Man, this video stands as a profound reminder of the awe-evoking power of the natural world. And yes, still, in my opinion, crocodiles and alligators are the scariest creatures on the planet. So check this out. Two bobcats have spotted each other from afar and they start calling out like crazy. As they gradually draw near each other, their gazes remain firmly locked, accompanied by a continuous rumbling growl. They adopt these peculiar stances with their tails swiftly flickering back and forth. The larger of the two, commonly referred to as the great cat, happens to be the female while we see the male sporting a distinctive reddish coat. It's pretty cool that someone caught this interaction on their trail camera, as we all know bobcats tend to stay out of sight. And to boot, this footage was actually taken on Valentine's Day. When it comes to physical displays, bobcats may exhibit various behaviors, such as posturing, tail twitching, and other forms of body language that indicate their readiness to mate. Male bobcats have been known to greatly increase the amount of territory they cover when looking for a potential mate, hoping to come across a female in her own territory. Great camera footage, and I say for now, we'll leave these two lovebirds be. A healthcare professional and outdoor enthusiast from Canada has caught on camera an event she described only as two witches performing a flesh-eating ceremony. She caught all of this on a trail camera she installed near her house. I can't make heads or tails of what's going on, said Karina Stanhope, 36 from Powell River, British Columbia. It scared the living daylights out of us. It's not an everyday sight. Upon finding a dead deer in her garden on her land, Stanhope said she thought it was odd, but also presented a cool opportunity to see what might come feed on it. She rigged the camera up and waited. There was a bobcat that visited, which was cool, but what came next blew her mind and her grandfather's mind. When she called him over to review the footage, they thought their eyes were playing tricks on them. Not one, but two naked women feasting on the dead deer carcass just as it turned dark. Yes, you heard that correctly. They were eating the dead deer. Stanhope reported that the individuals arrived roughly 10 minutes following sundown to consume parts of the deer carcass. She told the media that the apparent flesh eaters appeared disheveled and it almost looked like they were dying wigs. Quote, it's not quite clear from the images, but the hoof was brought directly to her mouth, she said. I'm unsure if she was kissing it or sniffing or consuming it, but the idea of touching a decaying carcass like that nauseates me. The bacterial load must have been immense. Her grandfather thinks that the individuals were definitely eating the carcass, but I think he was more hung up that they were naked, saying perhaps they were paying tribute, but they were unclothed. Stanhope acknowledged that she felt disturbed because the event happened just a short two minute stroll from her house and that she was afraid about the well-being of her horses. I was worried about them interfering with my horses at night. The horses have always seemed quite edgy and uneasy around that area. At first I thought they were just imagining things so I disregarded it. Maybe now I'm in inclined to believe them. The nurse is hopeful that the incident was merely a practical joke or that the participants were on some potent substances. She opted not to notify the police after her grandfather noted that nothing explicitly illegal had really taken place. The internet buzzed when Stanhope uploaded the photos, with some viewers suggesting it was a joke, while others speculated about satanic or other supernatural involvement. That's essentially a strolling devil from hell, one user wrote. If you hear shrieking, stay indoors and grab a firearm and make sure you leave it be. More than a few proposed that the figures were skinwalkers or wendigos, both of which are harmful entities linked with Native American legends. I'll tell you what, no matter who or what they are, this footage and the story in general are pretty crazy. What are you guys doing if these two show up on your trail cameras? Let me know.
Capable of stretching up to an astounding 30 feet in length, the dimensions of anacondas are extraordinary. A striking example of their magnitude was caught on a trail camera, showcasing the immense power of these creatures. In the recorded scene, an anaconda tries to scale a tree. But of course, the tree can't handle the weight of this massive serpent. I mean, this thing looks like something out of a movie. You can't help but be amazed by it. On average, adult female anacondas typically reach lengths of around 15 to 20 feet and can weigh between 2 and 300 pounds. However, exceptionally large individuals have been recorded, with some reports claiming weights of up to 550 pounds or 250 kilos. Snakes that big also have the potential to reach lengths of over 25 feet. Male anacondas are generally smaller than females, averaging around 9 to 12 feet in length and weighing around 100 to 150 pounds. I don't care which gender it is. I'm not interested in running into either one of these in the wild. Just extraordinary creatures.